Hey there, Jackie Holland here in Sherman, Texas, just saying hello to you. It's a beautiful day here. Just want to encourage you today, as I was encouraged today because I'd gone to the mailbox and uh, and read a particular letter that I was blessed by. Sometimes I share with you how, you know, obviously I give my books uh, to people that are in jail or prisons, and uh, so they've just gone everywhere, and I'm so thankful for it. And on occasion, I'll get letters, and they're always... Uh, so precious and so encouraging. And I thought I would just read a little bit without divulging a name or, or any history about this person. But I just had picked this up. It said, Dear Jackie Holland, he gives his name, but then he says, I'm writing you to say hello and to tell you that I have read your book, Dumpsters and Diamonds. Please excuse uh, my place of address, but of all places, I remember you. He said, I've shopped at your uh, thrift store there in Sherman before because he enjoys antiques and refurbished furniture and it was so nice. He's, he, tells his, he tells his story. I won't go into that because that's not right. But he says, of all places to remember you and to read your book, so inspiring, reading stories about God and how God will always come through in times of need. So I just want to encourage you also with that. He said, uh, I read the book cover to cover. The chaplain came comes by every week, and that's how I got the book. But he also mentioned that you went through COVID sickness, and so I'm sending prayers and good health to you. Well, isn't that nice? See, we're getting prayers, and we're getting blessed in places we don't even have any clue about. He tells some great stories and his background and things like that. But he goes on to say, I just thought I'd write and say hello. And that was a very good book about life with God. And he's, and then he um, he finishes it with, with a prayer and blessing for me. Well, what a blessing. Well, here's the book. It's called Dumpsters and Diamonds. And, um, and, and it's an excellent book. And I say my goal is to get them free to anybody incarcerated in the jails or the prisons because that's just what I feel like the Lord says do because that's outreach ministry. And anybody that's ever helped me just know that when you hear about people and their lives are being touched and you've ever sown any seeds into this ministry, whosoever will outreach ministries, that that's part of it. That letter was about you too because you've sown into the ministry and kept me to continue on doing God's work through a thick and thin. This says an empowerment for men and women. So it's just true stories. And so I'm, you know, it's not about selling a book either, but you could definitely give an offering. I sent you a book. But if you give an offering, just know that books do go free to those that are incarcerated. The jails and prisons, thank the Lord, are opening back up and we can visit again. So I'm excited about that and I know they're excited to have visitors and uh, they call it church. They're, they get excited about having church services again and I'm so thankful that I can be a part of it. When I wrote this book, I thought it was going to be I didn't really know dumpsters and diamonds. I just had a thought what it was going to be about, and I thought it was going to be about re refurbishing furniture and uh, refinishing furniture and and uh, repurposing and embellishing. But really, it's that's what God does. And so this book is about what God does. He's the one that re repurposes life. When we give our life and our heart to the Lord. The Lord repurposes our heart and gives us a new plan for his life. My books have never sold hardly any books. I wind up giving them all away. And so I have to raise money to get them printed. And I uh, have been blessed there along the way. But uh, I thought this book was going to be about furniture, but it is about people. Then I thought, well, it might be about, you know, cancer because people have gone through cancer. Now I'm like, well, it might be about divorce, cause, or it might be about death, or it might be about suicide, or it might be about grief, or it might be uh, about domestic violence. It, it might be about finding your calling. It might be about hearing God. It could be a number of things. That's the way my brain and my heart thinks. It's just kind of 
jumps off the page. So this was 31 chapters of a very simple book from a very simple woman who loves the Lord. And I just wanted to share that wonderful letter with you from a man that is excited about God and uh, and he's anxious when he gets out, which won't be so long, he'll go back and he starts his life over. And that's, a, a, that's where it starts, right where he's at. And it's already started. But God used my book. And those are, those are seeds sown. It says, some sow, some water, but God gets all the glory. So I just want to encourage you today, keep on keeping on and don't lose heart. God is not through using you or me. Because our life consists more of one experience or two or a dozen or, or it's just a every day after day something that God does. See, He blesses us when we open our eyes in the morning. That's a gift from God. This is His air that He's allowing us to breathe, and we, you know, He could take us out at any time. So you might keep that in mind. If you're contemplating getting out of order, if you're a Christian and doing your own thing, because you know you need to be following the Lord. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus, that you can ask him to come into your heart and forgive you of your sins, because we've all sinned. And uh, he will and, and truly mean it. God will help you. you no, know, it doesn't mean that you won't mess up again, but it does mean that your heart has changed. He takes out an old heart, put in a new heart. A, a beautiful heart, a beautiful heart. You have a beautiful heart. God loves you so much. I love you. Father, bless my friends today. Thank you, Father, for what you've done in the past, what you do in the future, and that today is a new beginning. Old things are passed away, and all things become new. And so we thank you, Lord, for that, and we bless your holy name. God bless you, friends. I love you. Have a great day.